Here's another interesting coin. This is, um, i got to remember the name, a Wedgetail Eagle, I think it's called. What would you target specifically for gold and silver? And again, I'm talking Tim Marshner's personal post coin and stamp shop stack. Buy your precious metals online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold and silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. All right, we got a stacker here from Connecticut. Is that right? Yep, Iverton, Connecticut. Cool. And you came up here to buy some silver from Tim. Yeah. See you guys on uh, YouTube quite a bit. Just watch your show and uh, learn a lot, quite a bit. Very informative. How long have you been stacking? Uh, just starting stacking now. Um, want to get my girls set up with some silver and stuff they're kind of young 16 and 18 so they don't have anything to really rely on i should say with you know the precious metals so i figured i'd start them off how hard do you, is it to get a young person into stacking in your opinion well as you can see it's just me here and i asked them both to come <laughs> up with me but they didn't want to go so they'd rather sleep so i figured i'd take the ride up two and a half hour ride wasn't too bad and was here by like noon, you know. So yeah, I'm here. They're not, but I'm doing something for them. So hopefully they'll thank me later on. You show me a, a really interesting uh, ten dollar, yeah, bill over there. My ten dollar silver certificate note. Uh, my grandfather had this note, and then when he passed away, my grandmother showed me a bunch of stuff that he had, and so this was one of the notes that he had in his. Drawer was folded too, so I was able that to straighten was, it out. That uh, was from North Africa. The, um, the Germans were counterfeiting U.S. currency. In the Pacific, the Japanese were counterfeiting U.S. currency. So the notes for the use for, as emergency currency in the Pacific theater had the big word Hawaii on the back. And the ones from North Africa have a gold seal, and uh, they're also they're silver certificates, but they have a gold seal to in indicate that they're for use by the military in that region. And the only reason why I came up here is because uh, you had a lot of people um, showing on YouTube and trusting um, Tim. So it's one of those things. I think trust has a lot to do with it, especially nowadays. Um, he looks honest and... Um, you look honest, Tim. He does. What? You look honest. I have to change my appearance. No, you look good. <laughs> They'll look more like a coin dealer. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we don't want that, Tim. Well, he's not wearing the bling bling and all that, too, you know, so when you see guys wearing the bling bling, yeah. it backs me right off. Oh, yeah. yeah. All the gold rings. Yeah, and no, everything. don't do that. No, it, 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 you know what? If you're a contractor, I'm a contractor, too. I'm an electrical contractor. So if I'm coming to your house, going to do electrical work for you, or you want me to come do it, I'm not showing up in a Mercedes Benz and all that, showing my, you know, I'm making a lot of money because you're not going to want me to do the job. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm going to come up in a, in a respectful van because I'm working out of it. It might be a little cluttered, might be dirty and stuff like that. Oh, you got that here, a little clutter. You just, know, just, oh, just a little. Here and you, yeah, just a little. The gentleman little works on it. You got any stamps, by the way? <laughs> way? Way too many stamps. <laughs> I yeah, saw yeah, that yeah. skit with the stamps. Somebody <laughs> called for stamps, and I'm like, no. No, no. Nobody no. I used to collect stamps. Nobody collects stamps anymore. That's the problem. Yeah. Um, Tim got me a bunch of constitutional coins here. Um, just basically half dollars and quarters. Half dollars and quarters. Very Keeping good. it simple. Nice. Do you have much of that already? No. No, this is all for my girls. Strictly all for my girls, trying to keep them going and uh, trying to protect them in a rough economy right now um, with everything that the way that's been going. The dollar's been devalued. Um, you have Russia, China, Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia. Everybody's getting rid of the American currency. So that's just making me afraid. You know. Yeah, I'm going to start something with definitely uh, with them. And then um, hopefully they can uh, carry it through. And I'm actually going to start stacking myself. Like I said, I didn't really have much gold or silver. No gold at home, but a few silver coins at home. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Um, well, good. I'm glad I had a, a, a little part of your, your stacking journey, and I'm yeah. glad you came up to see Tim. Oh, by the way, check out the description of the video below for all of Tim's info. Mr. Yankee Swapper, thank you so much. <laughs> Swapper. Swapper. <laughs> Stacker. Uh, you got to delete that. Get rid of that. I got it. I got thank it. you so much. No, if it wasn't for his show, I wouldn't be here.
for sure. That's yeah, that's good. He's I appreciate uh, it. He's good for something. Definitely. Oh my god. Definitely good for something. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Take care. Tim, thank you. Right, appreciate thank you. it. Well, I, I came to sell. I have some credit card debt that I want to get rid of. Well, that's a good thing to get rid of. Because I just can't stand the payments that I'm making and it's driving me absolutely nuts. I figured I'd come up here because of the show. Oh, now, thanks. I, can, I know I can trust him. Yeah, I am. Um, you know you can I, trust him. I live him. in Rhode Island and there's not too many trustworthy people in Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> I, I paid it's off true. a couple of credit cards and then I canceled the cards. All of a sudden, they're coming back. I mean, the two cards I canceled, they sent me new cards. Yeah. And the rate is a lot higher. They want you back, Tim. <laughs> the rate is a lot higher. Yeah, it's oh, on. The rates are insane. They are insane. And they, they it, not as bad as it was during the Carter administration, but um, yeah. So we're selling some gold buffalo? Yep. I love them. I really do. You know, and uh, I like the maple leaf too. I, I have um, the, the silver eagles as well. But. Got to keep the got to keep the silver eagles. I'm, I'm sorry, I have a gold eagle as, uh, as well. And oh, so you're on, keeping the gold eagle. Got to keep the gold eagle. The fractionals I got when they were my first pieces that I ordered of gold because uh, simply because if I got, you know, taken for a ride, I didn't get taken for an ounce. I got taken for a piece, you know. And other than that, yeah, I did that when I was uh, first started stacking silver too, after watching the show. Thanks. <laughs> um, and, you know, I'd order one and one and find out, you know, who was actually going to send it to me and by listening and watching the show. And then SD Bullion was the most reputable and as well as the cheapest. So that's where I buy. Thank you very much. Thank you very so much. Nice to meet you. And thank nice you. Nice to meet you, too. I, really uh, I think most people can figure out what's going on. Uh, most people are aware of uh, the shenanigans going on in the gov government. So. Yeah, well, it's, you know, they've weaponized every department of the government, and so it's uh, it's going to be hard to break through that. Um, but, I mean, it, it is in the hands of the people. If, if people, you know, if, uh, if Democrats want to cheat, they'll cheat. But people need to pay, pay attention to what's going on. Everybody needs to turn out and vote. It may be the last time. Hey, hey bye. Dan from Colorado. That's pretty from Colorado, cool. yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, Colorado has good foot, good look, good looking falls like we do here. Yeah. Um, you got a buffalo for me, maybe? Uh, I do have to hold three for somebody, and I think we're all, we're oh. down to the bottom. But let me see what I have. I'm at the bottom of the list. Uh, well, you're always at the bottom of the list. That's not no. what I was talking about, though. Jeez. What is today's date? <laughs> Here's another interesting coin. This is, um, i got to remember the name, a Wedgetail Eagle, I think it's called. But it's from Australia, and it's a, you know, the high relief uh, eagle that they made in 2009 and 2015. And it's the same kind of uh, deal. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? That is I never get a chance to even open up this account, but I'm this cabinet, and I think I'm going to start doing that. You should, Tim. You really There's too much going on here, you know, and, it's, and at night I'm busy getting packages out the door and uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sending text messages to people, so. Yep. Answering to, my texts and my emails. Oh, yeah, you did send me a text. I didn't I did, get a chance I? to read it. You got it. You, you, it's about Argentina. I think I'll find it fascinating. Worst economy. World's worst economy. Yeah, and yeah. I said I just said there's a lot of competition for that honor. Sure is. But you know, as long as we're the world's reserve currency, we're all set. Yeah, sure. Everything's awesome, right? Now, what's that based on? Fine. Oh, that's based on our promise to pay our debt. <laughs> <laughs> you get much demand for platinum? Not really. Um, it goes back a long way, but you know the people who invested in platinum years ago lost their shirts, mm. and a lot of people will yeah. never buy it again. But some people love it. Yeah. That's an Engelhart too. That's cool. Yeah, might as well leave it there. It uh, I'm visually impaired. I don't have any kind of a computer or, or uh, iPad or anything. 
I watch it on the TV, and I, I have a lot of friends that do the same thing, and we can't like your videos or subscribe or none of that. We just have to search them out and look at them. But I just want to let you know you probably have a lot more subscribers, and Tim would have a lot more business if you maybe put his phone number on your screen somewhere, or you know, uh, rather than just depend on uh, looking below because a lot of us can't look below. It's yeah. not there. I'm trying to get uh, 100 eagles for every year. And believe it or not, I'm very close. I had to call wow. Tim to get some years that I'm having trouble getting. I feel like, I think eagles are going to go the way of uh, of the Morgan Silver Dollars that have, eventually they're going to be very valuable. The early years are newsmatically. Do you agree with me or do you think that's a mistake or what do you think? Well, first of all, I commend you for doing such an amazing collection there. That's pretty awesome. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy uh, finishing it. I, I don't look at bullion the same way as I would semi-numismatic or collectible Morgans and Peace Dollars. I, I don't see the Eagle necessarily doing that. I do see it as potential barter, but you are looking at it like a collector. And uh, more power to you, man. You'll enjoy that. Let's see what Tim thinks. Um, well, because of the much lower minages of those early years and, um, you know, the problem that they, they've had with several years, uh, he's right about that. The, the early years are appreciating much faster than anything that's come out recently. Now, my next step is a monster box for each year. Oh, <laughs> my. Uh, yeah, Lord. that's going to cost some money. Wow. Very good. Thank you very much. All right, thank you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. A lot of people want to know, if you stack, and I tell them this whole store is your stack, you have gold and silver all over the place. If you ever needed it, you have it, you're ready. But let's fast forward. Post the coin and stamp shot. Tim, what would you target specifically for gold and silver? Well, the answer is yes. I mean, I will obviously be converting inventory before I make that decision. Right. And um, with a lot of help from my daughters, they, um, they are very good at getting rid of things. Yeah. Even well. Some things they just put in a dumpster. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I definitely would be converting it because uh, I have enough cash that's something that goes through here in large amounts. Um, and rather than you know, put that away for the future, because it's usually losing money um losing i would value. probably yeah. convert a lot of that to just gold and silver specifically what do you think you would target uh, it doesn't really matter really because yeah because as the price of gold goes up um everything gets closer to being the same price okay and, and we, right. it, the, the experience that we had was back in um 2011, the beginning of 2011, silver went up to around $50 an ounce and everything was the same. People were bringing in, you know, rounds and, and maple leaves and American eagles. It just Bars. didn't matter. Everything was the yeah. same price. Um, in silver and gold, it was uh, September. Uh, the gold went up to 1925. It was the highest it had ever been. And um, between then and the end of the year when it started falling back, I think it fell back to around 1750 by the end of the year, um, everything was pretty much the same then as well. It didn't matter if it was a bar or an American Eagle. Uh, that's not likely to happen again unless it goes up around three thousand dollars. When it does that, then everything will be the same. And silver over thirty or forty or something like that. Yeah, whatever it is. I mean, okay. it, it, it so it doesn't really matter what you say. See, I, I, I got to push you on this a little bit harder, Tim. Come on, there isn't something that you wouldn't say. Well, I'd like to have more of that in my well, personal it's, stack. it's a matter of convenience. Which is, um, for you, I what? I think the most convenient silver is a maple leaf. Tubes are 25, the monster box is what, eight inches by eight inches, and mm. it's um, okay. it, It's easy to store. Uh, I mean, look at the size of the American Eagle box. Uh, it just, you know, the maple leaf box is like half of that. Yeah. And a little taller. Right. But it's just not a convenient box to, to stack. Um, but yeah, you've got to find some place for it. I've got you know several safes, um, more than I need. 
<laughs> and um, obviously, this thing, you know, when I if I sell the business, <laughs> this thing is going with the business. I'm taking that in. You're not moving it. <laughs> but I, you know, I have another safe at home. I have another safe. It's, uh, it's shorter than that. And um, I'm talking with the guy about maybe buying another safe. Um, we just have to figure out how to move it around. But um, so sovereign silver, gold. I am a big fan of the buffaloes. Um, the maple leaves have been critical to this business because mm. uh, the Canadian men has been very good, been very efficient, and they've, they've got a lot of product to us in a hurry. And um, you know, it's. I don't think I'm ever going to bug out to Canada because uh, I don't think they want me up there. You know, I, I think it's it's wise to stick to the um, one ounce stuff. Mm -hmm. In a bar, I wouldn't hesitate to buy a 50 gram bar. Just, but the one ounce stuff is is the king. And silver, you would go as high as what? I, again, I'm talking Tim Marshner's personal post coin and stamp shop stack. Well, it also depends on when that day comes. <laughs> it's a long time from now, <laughs> man. It's got to be a long in time. In less from now. than six months, I'm going to be 78. If you retired, you wouldn't know what you would do. Yeah. No, I knew what I would do. I'd be have to do yard work and crap like that. So, I'll, I'll be here. Did you say you had an extra buffalo? For me. Um, yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. That is it. That's the last Until one. Until we get the next shipment in, I'm afraid that's going to be next week. Well, if it's the last one, I'm buying it. <laughs> That's fine.